Hello and welcome to this short video about CTF Trace. This video is aimed at anyone who uses the enterprise server family of products and who needs to collect and provide additional diagnostics. The video will explain how to enable CTF Trace in an enterprise server region. So the simplest way to enable CTF Trace within a region is to set the environment variables in the configuration information section for that region. MF trace underscore config has to point to a CTF configuration file, which we will look at shortly. In addition, we should have MF trace underscore logs set so that CTF logs are written to a specific known subdirectory. So we can now benefit from the fact that this is customized within a particular region and we can use the region name, for example, in the path to the logs directory. Then we know that all the traces in that directory are only for this region. This also means we can reuse the same CTF config file for any other region and all we have to do is specify a different and unique mftrace underscore logs directory path in the other region. So this is the CTF config file and the contents at the top show the basic elements and first we have mftrace.level which we are setting to info. So this is a global setting for all components and acts as a default if this level is not changed in the individual settings below. We also need a destination, which is the type of trace we're going to generate and not the location of the logs. And in this case, we are going to generate binary files. So we have the destination set to bin file. We now have a couple of lines to limit the, the files, the maximum file size that the trace CTF trace can grow to. Then we have a limit of six of these files to be kept before the oldest one is overwritten. And these, of course, can be adjusted to suit particular installations. So now we come on to the components to be traced themselves. And in this case, we are tracing RTS components and we have the RTS level set. So MF trace level is set to debug. So this now overrides the info level of trace that we were setting at the beginning of the file, but only for this RTS component. So for that component, we're going to trace all the RTS elements, except for the memory element. And this then is a fairly typical RTS configuration, as memory would generate a lot of output, so should only be enabled if tracing specific memory problems. In addition, on this particular example, we are also tracing file operations with XFH and FS components set. Again, the level is debug and all the elements are being traced. Now, when we start or restart the region, we should find that CTF tracing is on and we should see trace files being generated in the specified logs directory. However, it's worth noting that if the logs directory didn't actually exist, there won't be any CTF trace logs generated as it doesn't have anywhere to write to. So I'll start the region. And if we look at the logs directory here, we'll see some CTF trace being generated as the processes start up. The trace file names reflect the process names. So we have CAS Manager, CASI, CASTRC, CASTSC, and MFCS. So that's generated CTF trace for this region. If we wanted to look at any of these traces, we can do so using the CTF viewer. However, the traces that have been generated can now be provided directly to support line for further analysis. And in fact, the MFES Diag's collection script will collect all CTF traces where CTF has been enabled in a region. However, please note that when providing diagnostics for a particular problem, please include some context description of what was going on at the time and what the observed problem is to help us analyze the problem. So I hope this video now allows you to enable CTF trace successfully in your regions. For further information on this trace and other enterprise server diagnostics, please visit the support line website to review the troubleshooting pack. Thank you for watching.